we are talking about the ion carbon system. Uh, in the last video, we saw the phase diagram of ion carbon alloy system, a very important alloy system because ion carbon is what gives us steel and that is the most important engineering alloy. So, we looked at the entire phase diagram of the ion carbon system last time and we saw that in that system there are three different invariant reactions, a peritectic reaction at a very high temperature, then an eutectic reaction at an intermediate temperature and finally, a eutectoid reaction at a lower temperature. And we said that that eutectoid reaction is one of the most important reaction from the point of view of control of microstructure in ion carbon system. So, we will look at that uh, in detail later. So, at the moment let us look at what do we mean by this eutectoid, hyper eutectoid and hyper eutectoid steels. So, this is the lower portion of the phase diagram which you saw last time and uh, this uh, this is the eutectoid horizontal at 725 degrees Celsius, this is the eutectoid horizontal. The phages are above the eutectoid horizontal you have gamma, close to pure ion you have alpha and towards the right hand side you remember the phase diagram ended at Fe 3 C. So, these were this line is moving towards Fe 3 C which will come at 6.5. 6, 7 weight person. So, we have not gone all the way up to that point. So, which means now by 1 to 1 rule you have alpha plus gamma here, you have gamma plus F E 3 C here and you have alpha plus F E 3 C here in the two phase regions. So, you can see here that if we cool gamma and recall the names, gamma was austenite. So, if you cool austenite of 0.8 percent carbon gradually such that equilibrium is maintained, then above 725 it will remain austenite or gamma, but below 725 it will become alpha plus F E 3 C, it will transform into alpha plus F E 3 C. So, this is the reaction which is called the eutectoid reaction, this is what we mean by eutectoid reaction. So, let us uh, write down that reaction. So, we have gamma, so eutectoid reaction means gamma that is the austenite of 0.8 percent carbon upon cooling at 725 degrees Celsius will transform into a mixture of two phages, one is alpha the ferrite and another is Fe 3 C the cementite. The alpha composition is given by this point here that is 0 0.02 and Fe 3 C composition it is a compound and its composition is 6.67. All compositions are in weight percent carbon which is what we are using as the unit of composition. So, this is the eutectoid reaction and this is we said that this is the most important reaction most important invariant invariant reaction in the ion carbon system out of the three reactions which are present in that diagram this is the most important one. Now, what will be the microstructure of uh, the steel which has been cooled through this 725. So, what will be the microstructure here and we can also talk about what will be the microstructure there. So, in the austenite phase field, if you if you think of the austenite phase field so that is above 725, above 725 degrees Celsius, 
and let us take an alloy of composition eutectoid composition which is 0.8. Then this is a steel, a 0.8 percent steel is what is called the eutectoid steel. So, let us uh, note down that nomenclature. So, if the alloy composition is C naught, alloy composition C naught is 0.8 percent carbon. carbon we call this eutectoid steel. Eutectoid steel. So, this vertical line which we are considering this is eutectoid steel. Eutectoid steel. And then alloys which will be less than if C naught is less than 0 0.8 weight percent carbon, we will call this a hypo eutectoid steel, hypo eutectoid steel. So, in this range we will have hypo eutectoid steel and if the composition is more than 0 0.8 more than 0 0.8 carbon we call this hyper eutectoid steel. hyper is more, hypo is less. So, hypo eutectoid is less than the composition is less than the eutectoid, hyper composition is more than the eutectoid. So, in this range you have hyper eutectoid steel. So, this is the nomenclature. So, we are now currently considering the eutectoid steel that is 0 0.8 weight percent carbon. So, eutectoid our steel is eutectoid steel and that is steel if I look at the microstructure above above 725 then I should have a single phase gamma, but you, you have now studied that although it is single phase it need not be single crystal there may be many differently oriented crystal giving you what is called the grains and grain boundaries. So, all, all grains are gamma, but it is polycrystalline. So, polycrystalline single phase austenite gamma. If you now cool then at 725 this reaction will proceed and you will start forming alpha and Fe 3 C. So, if you now look at alpha plus Fe 3 C we will we will get. So, somewhere here let us say below 725 degrees Celsius same steel eutectoid steel. We will have a microstructure in which alpha and Fe 3 C both will form as alternate plates. Now, the phase diagram does not tell us, phase diagram does not tell us the morphology, phase diagram is only telling us that we will have a mixture of two phases alpha and Fe 3 C, but it so happens that if you look at the microstructure then you get alternate plates of alpha and Fe 3 C 
and these plates will be oriented differently in different region. These are called different colonies. So, the microstructure which you get here is, so let us say that the dark lines are the F E 3 C and the white region in between is alpha. So, you have mixture of alpha and F E 3 C and this mixture has been given a special name in a steel terminology, this has a special name and that is called perlite. So, this mixture alpha plus F E 3 C mixture, this is what is called perlite. So, which means a eutectoid steel which is cooled slowly uh, through the um, 725 degrees Celsius will show in its microstructure per perlite, 100 percent perlite, entire microstructure will be perlite. But note that perlite is not a single phage, it is not a name of a phage, but it is name of mixture of two phages which have a certain appearance in the microstructure. So, perlite is a micro constituent and not a phage. Let us uh, note that here. micro constituent which means it appear it has a certain appearance in the microstructure, but it is a mixture of two phages. Mixture of alpha plus F E 3 